Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a rectangular top of a desk, so that rectangle is going to be helpful for us. Length of 24, width of 17. So let's see if we can draw that here. And we can just make it representative here. We could say we've got a length here of 24 inches and a width of 17 inches. We really don't need to know uh, the other two sides because if uh, this left side here is 24 inches, then the other side is going to be 24 inches. If the top side is 17, the bottom side is also going to be 17. So really, that's all we get. And then we get our question, what is the area of the top of Kathleen's desk in square inches? Now, area and perimeter sometimes get confused, and we might forget what is on the inside, what is on the outside. And so if we were to think of it like this, area is always on the inside of a rectangle. So it's the amount of space squares, in this case, square inches. If we want to think of perimeter, perimeter is always on the outside. And so I always think of this word rim that is within our word perimeter makes me think of a basketball rim and that lets me know it's going to be on the outside. There's our net and there's the rim. So we need to find on the what's on the inside. And what we would do if we were in third grade is you would have some squares, right? So you would have, let's see if I can draw 24, 24 rows there. So I'm going to cut it in half. So I've got two sets. Then I've got four sets. And then I've got eight sets. You notice how each of my rows are getting a little bit smaller. And really, if I can take each of these eights and cut them into thirds, I can get 24s. But already, those are getting pretty tiny. That'd be a lot of rows. And then I'd have to do the same thing up and down 17 columns. And then if I wanted to, I could count. So this is what it would kind of look like on this very top eighth right up here. I'd have to do this all the way across all the way down and then I'd have to do that for 17 columns and as you can tell that's way too many so I could actually make it happen here on the 24th it's just going to be too difficult to do on the 17th and so what we could do is we could just kind of get a representative of what we're doing and then I'll show you the shortcut because obviously drawing this kind of difficult if I wanted to do my 17th you would just kind of do this, you just have to make sure you've got exactly 17 columns and so forth. So I'm just going to draw a big arrow saying continue. Even if you could draw 17 columns in 24 rows, that would be way too difficult. But what we could do is we can say, you know what, I've got, I've got sets of 17. I've got 17 here, right? This would be 17 across this way, 17 across this way. 17 across this way, I'd have 24 sets of 17. And that's why our area is length times width. That is the formula. And so you, instead of drawing all the columns and rows in fourth grade, what we learn is you could just multiply the length times width. They give us both of those, so that's all it is. It is two-digit by two-digit multiplication, something else we learn in fourth grade. So seven times four is 28. 7 times 2 is 14, add the 2 is 16. Put a 0 there because we're starting in the tens place, and you get your 24. Add it up, and there we go. We've got a 10. We've got 408. Now remember, this is going to be square inches, so you're going to see it like square inches like this, or you can see 408 inches with a little 2. That also means square inches, but either way, your answer here is C.